What's up guys, welcome to another episode, <clears throat> and welcome back to the Pokemon Leaf Green Nuzlocke. Uh, I, I know it's been a while since the last time we were on, a month, but I'm pretty, I'm pretty excited about this episode, you know? Uh, the biggest reason I didn't upload is kind of silly, but it's mainly because I really hoped someone would comment on this video. <laughs> Also, I was a bit distracted uh, making other Pokemon content, wait, making other content, mainly around Death Battle. Uh, I've also come to a bit of a realization quick recently, and since people are tending to drop off my channel around now, basically, I don't know if I'm going to do another Nuzlocke after this. Like, e either if I finish this or I die, uh, this is probably going to be the only Nuzlocke series. Because, as much as I like to think it's not about the views, it is kind of about the views. Alright, let's get the encounter whilst I talk. Basically, my biggest problem is, is the... Oh, right, I need to go up to a higher floor. Oh, god damn it. Okay. I'll battle my rival later. I, I wanted to get an encounter down here, but whatever. Basically... My most viewed po wait video on a Nuzlocke has been my Pain Fish episode three with twenty views, but the video which I which came out pretty much af directly after this one, my Death Battle season nine prediction video, got eighty views. So it's just kind of clear that more people prefer my Death Battle content than than they do this. And if my goal is to make people laugh, there's not really much point in doing a video no one's going to see. I I'm going to keep this series going, though, because it does still have some people who watch it. Even if it's, like, four people. And as, as long as people want to see it, I will keep it up. But the reason I'm not going to do any more is because it's clear that people don't want to see it keep going. Or at least, people don't care enough. <clears throat> I don't think it's actively that people dis- Wait, what? Oh. Oh. I, I was trying to unspeed the thing, because Bruce was evolving. I didn't actually know Bruce could evolve here. I, I thought they couldn't evolve in the Crobat. Or did he try to and then fail? Right. I'm definitely going to need to use Bruce against Erica. Who I think I'm going to try and take out this video. Generally, I beat a gym leader every other video. So, we're about set for Erica. Also, I'm not trying to clickbait you. I'm not going to say it in the title about I'm not how I'm not making more of these. Honestly, I want to do these. I, I would much rather prefer to make Pokemon content. It it's not that I dislike Death Battle. It's just that I feel like I can do a lot more with Pokemon. I feel a lot more free. But since it's just not as popular... I'm kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place here, where either my channel never grows because I'm just not getting views of Pokemon, or I make videos which I'm slightly less comfortable with making. I mean, I'm, I'm still happy making Death Battle. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure if I'm going to make the uh, video predicting Thor versus Vegeta, but I am pretty excited for that fight. <clears throat> also, once everything's said and done, I am going to make a... Uh, Season 9, a ranking Season 9 video. Not to mention I'm working on reviews for Season 7 and 6. Though the way my YouTube is configured means, unfortunately, I can't do seasons in 5 to 1. However, I will do Season 1. Because I've, I actually got a chance to watch Season 1 and I got everything up. So I can kind of, I can sort of list my opinions for Season 1. But it, it wouldn't be as in-depth as my Season 8 video. Uh. 
Oh, monk. Bruce is the best choice here because he can't be poisoned, so. Okay, yeah, fairly easy fight. <laughs> Alright, trying to see if he actually evolves here. Is he actually? Is he gonna evolve? Hmm? Huh? Okay, I guess he can't evolve. Oh, we can get an encounter here. Uh. I'd say that I definitely want Vulpix from this route. I don't know if I can get anything else. Yo! -ho! Okay. I really wanted a fire type. And Vulpix is one of the perfect fire types. So, uh, let's try and catch this thing. It shouldn't be able to kill Bruce, because Bruce is kind of a god. Nice! Vulpix is already part of the team. Uh, for a name... <coughs> eh, screw it, I'll name it Karama. Probably gonna spell it wrong. Karama. Uh, if anyone wants to know generally my prediction for Thor vs Vegeta, and you're somehow still watching, uh, basically, I think Vegeta wins because I've heard a, like, I've heard a lot of arguments for Thor winning, but the thing is, just a little bit of math completely disproves it because if we use the uh, most frequent feat for uh, Saiyans, these big bull. Oh, another encounter here, okay. Basically, the big universe moment. Uh, that's nine times the universe. And then we know Super Saiyan Blue is, is considered similar uh, to normal Super Saiyan compared to God. So, that's a 50 times power boost. Meaning, 45. That's 45 universes over, and Ultra Ego makes the even higher, so basically it could be somewhere along between 50 and 100 times universal. While Thor's best scaling is to Galactus, who, whilst fully fed, almost destroyed one universe. Basically, I think it's fairly easy to put Vegeta much, much higher. <laughs> and... Also, Ultra Ego is just absolutely broken, from what I can tell. Like, it's better than Ultra Instinct, for sure. Okay, you know what? I don't think I can get a different encounter this route. Yeah, I think... I think all well, that's just kind of standard. Here we are in Celadon. <coughs> Yeah, basically, I think Vegeta has better scaling. And remember, those are minimum calcul calcs that Death Battle can easily say. However, Vegeta has reached the point where he could be somewhat scaled to Broly. And if they do that, that's even more reasons. Okay, am I ready for this gem? I, I guess I am. I mean, my dad, wait, most of my team aren't doing as hot. You know, let, let's just test against this gal. <clears throat> okay, I think I'll try and switch to train, train Karama. Oh, it doesn't know any fire moves, okay. That's a bit worrying. <laughs> Sitting up in my bed. <sighs> okay. I am still a bit sad about the fact that I'm probably not going to be able to make another series after this because no one cares. Like, I, I do genuinely love this series. It 
it's what got people to start watching me. But it's not continuing to get people to watch me. And I feel like it'll get a bit repetitive because the only other one I can really play is Emerald. Unless I can get my uh, laptop and its OBS to start working again. But if I can't, I'm kind of stuck with Emerald on this awful quality. Uh, by the way, I do want to talk about the support of my last Death Battle video. That that was awesome, that prediction, because it was really fun to make, and it was the first time I got my mate Quaxi up mate helping me edit. And on top of that, Name in Progress has been made as a channel. Uh, I'm going to link it in the description of this video, hopefully, if I remember. And the best part about it, the first video should be going up by the end of this week. And it'll be really fun. We want to get it up right now, but there's a problem because Fraud, one of the people who's going to work on the channel, is in Skegness. Uh, he's having a nice little holiday. But trust me, as soon as he gets back, we're planning on recording on the Tuesday. And then it might take a day or two for Quaxi to edit. Also, tr try and check out Jinji's channel. He has a channel somewhere. And he's uh, uploaded a reaction to Tanjiro vs. Jonathan with me in it. I, I don't actually know where his channel is and if he's uploaded it. I'm oh, confused, right? Okay. I'll get rid of Leech Knife. But I, I, I assume that he's done it because he wanted to upload it. He even had us redo the intro for his channel instead of mine. Because it was originally going to go up on this channel, but he he decided that he wanted to do it. And I'm fine with that, personally. Like, um, I don't see the problem with that. He was the one recording it, because my laptop's OBS is broken. In fact, my whole laptop's kind of broken. It doesn't take an audio anymore. Which is kind of bad, not going to lie. <sighs> right. Oh, no. no, 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 Okay, I'm glad they didn't use a big attack there. If they had, if they had hit me, I, I, have, I am afraid I would have died. Enough with the leech seed, mate. You're a stupid potato. You're not gonna kill me. We already know that's not happening. Alright, let's scrap, mate. The thing I kind of like about this gem... It is designed that you have to fight a few trainers. Though I definitely prefer Erica in the in the other game. Erica's always kind of been the worst Kanto gym leader to me. Like she's just boring in comparison to most of the others. She doesn't have much going on. Oh, okay. Okay. At this point, Bruce is definitely strong enough to take on Erica. I, I just just want to be sure. Okay, bro, that's th that's three in a row. Okay, I was encountering something similar because in my free time I like to play emulators on my laptop, and I found this one called Pokemon Ash Gray, and it was quite fun. It's where you're like being Ash Ketchum, and I'm trying to use the exact teams he used per battle. Maybe I can make an episode out of that, but it would require me to record it and do like a standard Poketuber, which I don't know, I'm just not really up for. But, <clears throat> wait, basically, I swear that Brock's Onyx had plot armor, because every time I got near to KOing it, it would just pull something random. Like, the first time, I was using my Pidgeotto and Sand Attack. I got it about five times. Then it just proceeded to hit me three times in a row. No reason behind it. Just decided, yeah, sure, I'm, I'm going to just kill you now. Just screw me, I guess. Oh, okay. Bruce is pretty close to death. Okay... 
I'm not going to evolve Karama just yet because uh, Karama like, won't be able to learn Flamethrower before that. I'll probably evolve it next episode. Alright, let's just heal up, then we can uh, take on Erika. There's one more trainer in that room, but she's not really necessary. Heck, none of that was necessary. That was just so Karama could gain a few levels. Probably gonna train her up off screen. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. Uh, what was I talking about? Oh, right. Brock. Uh, the second time I fought him, I was about to KO him. I was getting very... I was one hit away. I was just gonna heal up my Pidgeotto and then KO him. Then he crits me for all of my health. <laughs> oh. Well, that's a bit stronger than I expected. Kind of figured she'd be, like, between level 26 and 8. And if that's her... Oh. Okay. Why is her Tangela so much weaker than her first mom? That doesn't make sense. And here comes the Vileplume. You can't poison me, son. Honestly, paralyzing Bruce was the worst thing she could have done. Because she can't chip damage me now. Wow, I really have to deal with that every time. Okay, that's Erica beat. Uh, next episode, I'll probably take on the stuff in the game corner. Oh, no, I'm not really bothered. Just kind of wanted to get this video up because I've had a massive like, lack of videos lately. But yeah, uh, like and subscribe if, if you enjoy and you actually made it here. And I'll uh, see you guys later. Bye.